Let's take a look of question number 10. This equation right here it has a lot of fractions. And actually, I think there are a couple ways to do this question. So I will show you guys uh, the, all the ways that I can come up with. So question number 10, first way. And I'm going to say, let's uh, use decimals. Okay, so this is my first way, decimal. So originally, I have 4 over 5 plus parentheses negative 3 over 10 equals to x plus 1 and 1 half. Uh, what I mean by use decimal is, I want to change all the fractions and this mixed number to decimals. So let's take a look of 4 over 5. So let me make a note on the side. 4 over 5. This means 4 divided by 5. And how do we divide? We can just do the long division. Put a 4 inside and the 5 outside. Because the 4 is the first number, you put it inside and then you put a 5 on the outside. 5 goes into 4 0 times. So let me put a 0 right here. And I can put a decimal point after the 4. And I can put a 0 right there. Because 4 is the same as saying 4.0. And line up, the de line up with the decimal point for the answer. 5 goes into 40. 8 times. 8 times 5 is equal to 40. And that's it. Right? So 4 over 5 is the same as saying 0 0.8. So 4 over 5 is the same as 0 0.8. And for the second number, I have... First notice that positive times a negative is a negative. So I'm going to subtract... 3 over 10 is 3 tenths, which is 0 0.3. So that's pretty straightforward. E equals to x plus 1 and a half. So the half is the same as saying 0 0.5. So I can write this as 1.5. All right, I can watch it. we can just now do some um, usual calculations. No more fractions, much happier. For, for this, uh, point, 0 0.8 minus 0 0.3, we get 0 0.5. Right? So this together becomes 0 0.5. And that's equal to x plus 1.5. Our goal is to get x by itself. So I need to subtract. Because I had a positive 1.5, I'm going to subtract 1.5. Right here and also on the left hand side. Subtract 1.5 on both sides. Cancels, right? Positive 1.5 minus 1.5 becomes 0. So I have x on the right hand side and 0 0.5 minus 1.5 is equal to negative 1. So negative 1 is equal to x, or in another word, x is equal to negative 1. So there, I can also say this is x is equal to negative 1. And as we can see, that uh, I got my answer, negative 1, which is choice C choice C and I'm going to show you two different ways um, in the next video